All right, all right, all right. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better this time. Uh, I went to Best Buy, picked up myself a scouting case, and I also got myself, if anyone wants to know, a Polar Pro mic. Professional, micro professional. Hey there. Professional audio recording. So hopefully uh, this is better than the stock one. Um, I'm not too impressed with uh, the mounting of it. It's a little bit sketchy. But you know what? If it does a job, it does a job. So let's get out of here. Let's go get some dinner. You know, it's only three o'clock. Well, dinner's only as dinner. Dinner's at five thirty, I think, or five o'clock. Uh, but we are going to go spend some time with my parents. Spend some time with my nephew. And uh, then we'll get another video going back home. Uh, hopefully it won't be too dark. Hopefully the camera will, be, will work pretty well at night here. Uh, now this guy has no idea where he's going. Like, do you want to put a signal on or... Obviously he's going to the left, I guess. He could be going straight. He could be going over the freaking grass, but you never know. Alright. Hipsters, Caliani, the Benz, C230. Yo, see, custom license plates. That's the one thing when I was uh, getting this car, I had the option of getting custom license plate. And I was like, you know what? I really wanted one. Yet, I decided not to. Why? Well, here's my thought about it. I have a custom license plate, and if it's unique, whatever. Um, and I do something dumb on the road, or if I cut somebody off, if I speed uh, a little bit too excessively, uh, somebody sees the license plate, boom. License plate, it's, it's, an easy, it's pretty easy to remember a memorable uh, license plate. So, some people will probably call you in, and I wouldn't doubt that they wouldn't. That's the thing, that's the one uh, thing which I don't like about it is a memorable, memorable license plate like that. It's it can probably get you in a little bit of trouble. Uh, so I just went with a normal license plate. I was like, you know what, what's available? They gave me a number. I was like, okay, you know what, I like this, let's do it. Uh, a buddy of mine has a license plate pretty much just what his car is. Like, he's got a C45, I mean, GLA45. And the license plate is GLA45. So, not only do you know the license plate, but you also know the car. Just by the license plate. Uh, but you know what, it's uh, to each his own, right? There, I've seen a lot of custom license plates in Edmonton here, like Empower What? Or AMG What? Or not AMG license plate. I've seen stuff like BAP, like B-A-A-A-P. Uh, there's, there's, been a, there's a lot of them are actually around Edmonton. Um, um, there's a lot of last name license plates. I don't want to say exactly like but race the arcs. Maybe it's something different, but I've seen a lot of like sing or, or actually that's, that's the one. There's something I can think of right now. That's the one I see most. His last name is Sing or like Sing One, Sing Two, Sing Three. It's like you know it's cool. You know how cool to have your license plates like, as a custom play. But I was like you know what. Whatever, what's the big deal? You know, I don't, I don't want to spend 80 to 100 bucks for a custom license plate and then uh, have a bigger chance of getting tickets for doing random stuff on the road. Even though I don't do uh, unsafe things on the road, some people might see us passing them on the fast lane and flashing them because they're going too fast in the fast lane as a, oh hey, I want to call you in and you will get a ticket and I'll make some bullshit story up. And I was like, you know what, I have to hit the windows. So that's the last thing I want to do is get pulled over by a cop or uh, get a ticket. Because not only will I get a ticket for whatever the heck I'm doing or if I'm speeding, I might even get a ticket for window tint. Uh, that's the thing, one thing in uh, Alberta is you have to have a, whatever kind of window tint you want, uh, but as long as it's not in front of your shoulders. So anything which is your windshield or your uh, your passenger front passenger or your driver's side uh, windows zero 10 absolutely whatsoever you're not allowed, not allowed to have anything 
they say for safety reasons, they say some people so the police can see you, or whatever, this and that. I was like, okay, yeah, you know what, whatever. Um, I didn't get dark tint. I have uh, 35 or 45 in the fronts. I think I have maybe maybe 45, 35 in the back, 45 in the front. Maybe, or maybe it's 20, 20 in the back, and then 35 in the front. And I don't know for sure. Uh, but it's not too dark, honestly. Like, if you look at from the camera right now, you don't doesn't look like it's that dark from the side or whatever. You can probably see that this and that, that probably matches pretty close to the windshield, so it's not a big tent. And a lot of the times now, honestly, uh, I've driven past multiple cops, I've stood beside them, I've parked beside them. You see, they look at me, and it's fine. You know what? I honestly think that uh, the way the law is right now, and the, law, the way that the window tent law is, is if you're not driving like a douche. And if you're not driving doing something stupid on the road, then a cop really won't have a read, won't pull you over for window tint. Yeah, of course they can, because it's illegal to have it, but honestly, I think most cops will. That's the thing. But yeah, you know, if you're driving like a dick, uh, there's there's another reason for him to pull you over. You have, come, you have window tint in the front. So I try not to drive like a douche anyway, so but they don't have a reason to pull me over. But you know where, what, whatever happens, happens. If I get a ticket, it's my, it's on my, it's my prerogative. I knew it was illegal, and I still got it. So it is what it is, right? And they're just doing their job. So, uh, but I gotta say, a lot of people actually have a lot of window, will have front window tint on the front, and a lot of people have much darker window tint in the front uh, than me. Like, I'm surprised of how many people are. Like, sometimes I can drive past the car, and I can barely see inside if not see not see inside uh, and it's raining again awesome uh, but you know it is what it is right i love the uh, states in the u.s where you can have as much tint as you want front back windshield whatever i can just imagine having limo tint all around that should be terrible i think especially if you're driving at night how hard it would be to drive around and uh, especially reverse Unless you have like HID reverse lights, that would be a different story, but um, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh. I need to wash my car, but I was just, yeah, I wanted to wash my car for the past few days, but it's always like, oh, it's gonna rain today, oh, it's gonna rain tomorrow, and just because these little rain things, and I haven't washed them in a few days now, well, not a few days, a few, few months probably, given that the rain's here and there, but uh, not too much. But I'll end off the video for now. Uh, I'll be a, I'll uh, post another one later on. But make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, keep updated for my next uh, vlogs. Alright, guys, have a good one.